Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it's like every other Sabine Yoda deck out there. Yeah. It just runs the running interference, and it has the um, never tell me the odds, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so the reason why we put this deck on stream is because both these players are on the bubble, so to speak, which means that uh, both these people have records such that they, uh, in order for them to ensure a spot in the top eight, they're going to have to win this game. So the stakes are a little bit higher for this match compared to, say, something that's the uh, right. Assume this is this one. list. Yeah. You don't know it's going to be exactly like this. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to necessarily leave it up, but it's going to be pretty close. And obviously, we've seen Steve's list earlier today as well. So yeah, we have the match. We, uh, we took um, Steve's uh, objective. His first player. Right, All right, and now back to the action. Looks like we bumped the camera too, but I'm not hurting. That's okay. It's fine. Game's not that wide, so it's okay if we don't have the whole map. Uses his, uh, I, I suspect this game isn't going to take very long either, so. Uses a special Yoda, <laughs> takes a resource. Uh, I don't know what else he did. He, I guess he used the Force Speed special, so he's doing something else. Oh, he turned he, the dice. Yeah, he, he, might, he might be uh, deciding what to play. Uh, Ancient Lightsaber? Maybe. Two ancient lightsabers. Wow. Akimbo lightsabers. And Steve jinxing himself by sending them all to the blank sides. So Nick rolls out his Yoda, gets a, a double focus and one resource side. Now if Nick wants to, he could even try to try to change that Maz's goggles into the, the special ability to let him strip an event from his hand. Or, well, I guess, I mean, uh, he does take the one resource. Yeah. I guess he doesn't have, maybe he doesn't have a uh, weapon he wants to discard to combo with, with Sabine, I suppose. But anyway, Steve rolls out his Qui-Gon. I guess you were right about Jason. Yep. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Four blanks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, at least Steve has one card left in his hand to uh, to maybe mitigate that. Yeah. Hidden Blaster coming down on Sabine. Ambush. And that, uh, I, I don't think there were any shields for him to remove anyway, so, yeah. Roll out Sabine, gets uh, some disrupt here, resources, damage side. Can't have a oh. Not a much better roll, but. Took a shield with uh, Klingon. The shields go away. Eight damage through. Ouch. It's the problem with some of these uh, Yoda decks, right? I mean, you take out the primary damage dealer, and then you're struggling to throw weapons onto a onto a character that, while has no blank sides, doesn't have uh, any I'm, damage I'm sides. That, uh, Steve the there, right yeah. The so retaining control of the battlefield, retaining that initiative. Steve's going to have the opportunity to play first. Nick discarding a hidden blaster, very important. So that's going to allow him to. Uh, to chain those hidden blaster uh, triggers. Yeah. Any hidden blasters on Steve's side, so maybe gets, can salvage some of that value. And Steve always has that option of using the ancient lightsaber to uh, to heal some damage from Qui Gon. Of course, he needs to do it before uh, you know Nick ambushes him to death. So we're going to see that uh, that hidden blaster being played, not overwritten, but instead being played as a second weapon onto Sabine. Trigger removes the shield from uh, 
Qui-Gon's card. So we see a shield. <clears throat> uh, yep. Yeah, and that ambush is gonna finish off Qui-Gon. Jeez. Another another very fast game it looks like here. Oh, that, I mean, four points of upgrades then. Yeah. And uh, Nick was thinking about using the running interference, but I guess just decided not to. I mean, there's no sense yet. Yep. You just could try to get the damage to Lightsaber pull on Steve's side, searching for a blue weapon. Steve's going to need all the help he can get. Grabs a Shoto lightsaber. Shoto lightsaber good because it can, uh, you can either put shields on or remove shields from the character. And rolling out Yoda. So now that, now that the primary threat of Steve's uh, list is gone, all Nick has to do is... Uh, you just take it slow, doesn't have to really have to rely on any shenanigans anymore. I mean, he does have the DL, the DL44 Heavy Blaster in his discard pile. He can uh, use it next turn to to just sort of prison lock his opponent if he wants to. Using the special on on Yoda's die, he's gonna change his hidden blaster die to a resource side. And I, I don't really know what he did with his other card, but Yoda roll coming here. Now the the trouble with the Shoto lightsaber is while it does have that ability, uh, it has two modifier melee sides, and the problem is that. Uh, neither of the other dice cards in in Steve's side actually have any melee side, so it's going to be really hard for him to actually roll anything that can deal damage with just the Shoto lightsaber on Yoda. I, I guess he just does one damage at a time. Yep. Playing DL44. Chooses to remove the force speed. Puts another shield onto Sabine. Steve grabbing some resources just to set up for the next turn. Chains uh, Yoda's activations together. Nick claims the battlefield. Broken the thing in the software. If I change it, <laughs> who has the battlefield? Yeah, it'll pop up the list. Oh Nick wisely decides not to hold on to that thermal detonator. Not much point with just a single character. Oh, well, sorry. I guess it's cheap coming back up on Sabine. Never mind. Well, yeah, but she's probably going to overwrite the DL44 with another DL44. Yeah. Because the thermal detonator is there when your opponent has more than one character. But uh, <laughs> Steve catching a tiny break at least. But he does have ambush, so he, he can... Uh, what he can probably do here is maybe he's... Uh, he doesn't have the money for never tell me the odds. He might just be discarding to reroll. And because he did exhaust the running interference... Steve can't even uh, roll out Yoda in response. So yeah, discarding the Maz's Vault. Gonna re-roll the blanks plus the Disrupt. And actually roll something a lot more, uh, a bit more beefy this time. So Steve's gonna respond with a Mind Trick. So Nick's gonna have to split up his dice into two pool, into, sorry, two separate pools. And I think, um, this is tough, like because he has the modifier. I think Steve is just going to uh, remove whatever die has the DL forty fours and blaster uh, range side on it. I 
lot of this is just de delaying the inevitable, I feel. Oh, I was mistaken. It's actually, he actually had two, uh, two range sides that weren't uh, modifiers. My bad. I think as unfortunate as it sounds like, and you just have to remove the, you just have to remove the damage sides, let him have the resources and the shields. I mean, he can't even use the shields. Like that, that, that shield side's not doing anything for, well, no, I mean, he can put it on Yoda. The, it's the damage, right? Yeah. And you also have to consider what, what dice you're removing, even if they're not currently showing damage. So he still has a DL44 blaster, yeah, and he has a... Yoda's focus as well, yeah. right? So... And so, other dice can be more damage. speaking of focuses, there's a focus plus Yoda's special ability. Uh, Steve plays out his heirloom rights lightsaber. Uh, of course, the uh, the ability text on that card is we're not relevant right now. Use the two focus from Maz Goggles to make two more damage sets. Steve's rolling uh, consistent with his one damage at a time strategy. Six damage at the... Uh, no, eight damage at the... Uh, yeah. Yoda? Now it looks like Trust Your Instincts is going to come, so that's going to let him reroll as many of his blue dice as he wants. And he also gets to draw a card off the, uh, off the bargain. Four speed right now, <laughs> not looking all that great. I mean, when you when you don't have that much uh, in terms of damage, that's easy pickings. Yeah, when you don't have you don't have many dice that threaten a lot of damage, the four speed ability is not that great. So I think right. Steve recognizes the writing on the wall, throws in the towel. Congratulations. To